I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important test question. Now this question is very popular in competitive exams and entrance examinations. The question here is, four years ago the ratio between age of brother and sister was 5 is to 6. So we are talking about the age of brother and sister. It is given as 5 is to 6. This is four years ago, right? past tense. Find the ratio of their present age if the sum of their age is 52 years. Now it is important to understand that whenever the ratio is given to us, it really means that we could write these numbers as 5x is to 6x, right? So what is their sum? Sum is 5x plus 6x which is 11x. This is four years ago, right? So they get one equation here. Now let's look into the second part, which is find ratio of present age if sum of their ages is 52. At present, the sum is 52. You get an idea. So at present, what is going to be the age? We are going to add four, right? But we know four years back, it was 11x. So sum four years ago will be how much? Will be 52 minus four and four, eight, right? So that gives you 44. Do you see that? So when you're given some of the ages for current time, that is present four years back, both of them will be four years younger, right? So their sum will be not 52, but 52 minus 8, which is 44. Now, if you compare these two, 11, x, and 44, you clearly know x is equal to 4. Correct? And therefore, we get the ages here as 4 times 5 as 20, and 4 times 6 as 24. So those are the ages 4 years ago. Perfect. Now, what are their ages? Now, we will be adding 4 to these ages. So we get 24 and 28. So what is this ratio? This is what we need to find. Both can be divided by 4 and we get 6 is to 7 as our answer. Option C. Is that clear to you? So we can always very without doing any calculations, you know, we can solve such questions. So if you look back and translate this 52 years as the age four years ago will be minus eight for both of them, in that case, it becomes much, much simpler. You could have done the other way also, right? So I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. And this question could be very useful for students taking up uh, many competitive exams and entrance examinations. Thank you and all the best.